Nerd out here showing the most competitive tool the top teams and pro players are using in CSGO. Teams like Liquid, Heroic, Fnatic, Mouse, and pro players such as Elige, Fallen, Blameth, and many more are using this to be the best in the world. Refrag is a powerful tool that specializes in training, practice, learning, and warm-up in various different modes in a server you have control over. The best training mods all in one place. Within the server, you can change the modes to whatever you like, such as scrims, nadar, prefire, and so on. This video will show off the essential modes for practicing and learning by using modes such as nadar that helps you practice nades and discover new ones, and restrat, a demo viewer built inside of the server that lets you watch and verse anything in the demo. What I'll be showing you in this video only covers some parts of all the amazing tools these refrag features offer. Go ahead and head over to the Refrag Wiki for in-depth guides on how to use different features and commands within Refrag. At checkout, you can either choose the player bundle that has important modes like Nadar, Crossfire, Prefire, and more, or the competitive bundle that lets you host really high quality scrims, as well as Restrat where nothing so advanced like this exists. If you're a pug player and you want to improve your own individual game, I would recommend going with the player bundle. However, if you are someone who wants to break out, perhaps with a team onto the pro scene, I would recommend going with the competitive bundle. And you could save some cash by using code NART for 15% off. To start a server, head over to refrag.gg and click on play now in the top right. This lets you choose the server location you want. In this case, I'm gonna choose Chicago since it's closest to me and will take a few couple seconds to start. Nice. Once you've joined the server, it's gonna automatically put you into aimbots and a list of modes on your right. We're just gonna mainly look at the practice tools with Nadar first. So you're gonna wanna shoot it, select the map and bam, you're in. When you spawn in, you're going to see different utility icons across the map. These are the default nades Refrag offers. If you don't want to see them, you can choose the menu command on the left by going into map grenades and clicking on the number 6 to disable or re-enable the default nades. However, these default nades are useful and it shows the most common nades you may want. So let's say I want to know a good flash for a connector on T-Side Mirage. I'm going to head over here to Khan and click E on the flashbang. This shows me the different locations the flash can be thrown from. If I choose top middle by pressing 1, I can see on the left menu the grenade type and it's a left click throw. To see the lineup just press 1 and that's it. There's also an option to see how this flash is thrown. So if I go for the same flash but for a different lineup, there is an option called show replay and that gets a bot to show how it's done. From here you can copy it and you should get similar results. Nadar also offers some great ways to find and save the nades you like. So let's say I want to find a good pop flash for Cheetah. I'm going to type in dot map and then select ancient. Now I want to throw the flash roughly from here and I could spend a lot of time just randomly throwing flashes and failing until I get it or I could use some neat shortcuts. When your pin is pulled you can just hold E to see an outline of where the nade will land or you could hold R to see exactly where it lands and it's going to let you move your camera around to see the areas that it's going to cover. If you want to be more specific you can hold both E and R while your pin is pulled to get something like this and when you want to check out where it lands you can just let go of E. With the flash I'm trying to find, it looks like it goes a bit too far, so I'm going to step back around here and try again. And yep, that looks good. After you throw your utility, you can hold E to see the lines of where your last nade you threw went. So I'm going to save this flash by typing in chat, dot save, and then name it. I'm going to call this cave pop flash from door. To see only the nades that you created, you could type dot menu and press load my grenades or by typing dot nades. Once it's saved, it's going to act the same as a default nade, meaning you can go up to it, check and show the lineups. How awesome is that? Another awesome feature of Nadar is the grenade finder, which lets Refrag find the nade for you. By default, it's selected as a smoke, 
However, you could change the settings of the finder by pressing 6. To use it, open up the menu and go to the point where you want the lineup to be at and press 2. This will take place the first point at your feet. And to tell Refract where you want your smoke to land, place your crosshair where you want it to land. So I'm going to pick Cave. When ready, press Find and this will lag the server a bit but looks for any possible lineups. For me, it took about a minute and once I get my results, I can click each lineup and it's going to show me the point where I need to aim and try them out and in this case, I feel like result number 2 will be the easiest to remember and works. The awesome thing about Grenade Finder is that it's going to save you so much time to find these utility instead of having you having to trial and error yourself. You could be wasting 5 to 10 minutes to find an exact location of Nade when you could just use this Grenade Finder which only takes 1 minute. This feature is useful for mollies as well, like wanting to find a cubby molly from outside doors. To find it, I'm just going to change the type to Molotov and go to where I want to stand, point where I want it to land and click find. After waiting, I got these results and number 4 looks like the easiest to remember, so I'm going to save it. Within Nadar, you're going to also have access to bots and they have a lot of different uses. First type dot bot to place a bot at your feet and it's going to look the same direction as you. If you want to do some advanced changes to the bots, you could type dot menu, press 2 and you have the bot menu. These settings will give you the more basic options like moving them, changing teams, kicking them and so on. However, if you want more advanced changes, you can press control while looking at a bot to make them do anything from boosting, crouching, jumping weapon changes, run boosting, and more. These bots can make it very handy to find out if a run boost is effective, if a grenade stack is good, or find some cool wall bangs. Commonly on nuke, when a T wants to dive down into vents, a CT player may swing out main and spam the lurk smoke stopping the drop. So let's find a way to stop that using the second lobby player from HUT. Generally, a CT may peek out like this, so I will put one here and give them an M4 since I'm generous. And when I make my way into HUT, this glow around them will make it a lot easier to find my wall bang. In order to remember this, it looks like I just need to stand near the entrance and aim in the middle of the wall when the beam is on the left and it's not visible, shoot at the bottom middle of the wall. Looking at the chat for a second, we can see the body shots do 8 damage per shot whereas the head does 34. To test my memory, I'm going to clear the decals, turn off the glow and give it a try. This looks good, and it's going to make it harder for the CTs to punish my teammates next time, if they knew how to drop vents. This is just a surface, as there are a lot more cool features like commands, for example use dot clear to remove all active nades, use dot recent to have a list of your last thrown nades, Use dot cleanup to reset all props on the map like the window in Inferno Bedroom. You can find more commands on the Refrag Wiki by going to the Nadar section. Next, moving on to the in-game demo viewer of Reshrat, which has a lot of cool features within the demo that you could use with this menu to navigate or have some binds set up to fast forward, rewind, etc. I'm going to show the different binds you could have on screen. If you forget any of these things I've covered so far or in the future in this video, I'm going to link the Refrag Wikipedia in the description which has these specific instructions. So I'm going to be using these exact binds to have my fast forward for the actual CS demo viewer, the same key as the Refrag demo viewer to take less space on my keyboard. In order to load the demo onto my server, you're going to go to refrag.gg, select Restrat and then new demo in the top right. Upload the game you wish to watch, so I will be uploading Liquid vs Vitaly on Vertigo, and then give it a name. And on the server, choose the Restrat mode either from the main hub or in-game and select your map. When the demo is uploaded and the map is selected on the server, you can skip to the round you want either by the website or go in-game. Let's say I want to find a BX key for my T-side Vertigo, I will look at rounds where both teams had a buy and it ended up on B, so on round 10 I can see Liquid ended up on B, so let's check it out. By pressing start, it's going to load the round onto the server and it's going to maybe take a minute to load the entire demo. Now we are on the server and I have the option to fly around and watch it or I can go into spectate to see the player's perspective. 
Since I want to find a B execute, I'm gonna fly around for now. In this run, it looks like your kinder is going to throw the default lurch smoke, then contact up, catching Dupree, and then later Sphinx. This is good, but I want to see an actual execute. When I checked the website again, I could see that in round 12, there was another round where it ended up on B, so let's take a look at that round by clicking on the start on refrag or skipping the round in the game. Liquid is grouped up near stairs, so it looks like I'm gonna get what I wanted. They molly stairs and make their way in, and yeah, they're going to full execute on this site, destroying Vitality in the process. To see how they did it, I can go to spectate and view their POVs. One cool feature of Restrat is this versus mode. So at this point, I could test out how effective this execute is to be against me by typing dot menu and change the mode from watch where the bots will ignore you to versus where the enemy team will actually shoot at you. But during versus mode, you can't fast forward unlike watch mode. So I'm going to hop into spectate and get to the point where I want to replace the pre as the B player. And yeah, this looks good. When the execute happens, Sphinx will contact first in, and then I will get Flash and Molly where Liquid is already up the stairs, ready to kill me. If I want to increase the difficulty on myself, I can go to Versus Settings and select Pro, which is the hardest, and well, the proof is in the pudding with this difficulty. I especially love this versus feature from Restrat to play against the opponent's executes which you can use to find the weaknesses in their execute to properly position yourself and counter. Blame F and many pros have spent many hours in Restrat to anti-strat their opponents. The Restrat demo viewer is way more efficient to watch demos and as you know the CSGO demo viewer is not too good. To help find the smallest details, Refrag offers you the option to pause the demos and move around in real time, letting you spot details such as positioning, lineups, set plays, and so on. By using the command .rpause, I can see how Liquid is going to try and set your kinder up for a frag in round 23. Elige will molly ramp stopping them from getting close, and OC is going to flash your kinder out of smoke from sandbags. If you're watching demos with your team in the server, you can force your teammates to spectate you on who you're watching or assign a teammate player to watch in the observer menu. Another epic feature in Restrat is the ability to map bots to test and fight against your own executes. You're going to go into record menu and you're going to see two options, solo and team recording. If you're by yourself, you can use this menu to record an individual bot, then eventually use it against yourself. However, if you have a team on your server, you can go into the team recording and dry run the strat you have in mind. Since I have no friends, I'm gonna go for the solo. Now you have a list of the bots you can map, an option to play it, and settings. For reference, these are the settings I'm going to be using, which contains options like having the bots fight you and restarting the round when starting. I am going to test a potential AX Hute for Nuke T's side, so I will select player 1 who will be my support and get him out to Molly Hut and flash the site, then later watch Lobby. When I want to stop, I can just stand still or type dot stop. My next spot will be the Hut entry and I will team it to go out at 140. So I've just mapped a lot more bots and I'm ready to see how it looks. By running I can have an outside perspective to see how the execute looks as well as making it easier to demonstrate to my team how I want my ideas to work. Now it's time for me to fight against my execute, so I'm going to go to the CT side and let's see how well it works and if I can find any gaps to exploit. Using Restrat can improve your play as well as Nadar, which I covered earlier, super helpful in practicing your nades, finding new utility, boosts, and wall bangs. Remember to use promo code NART at checkout for 15% off at refrag.gg. Train like a pro, 
play like a pro.